I'm uh, just making a trying to make a data logger for my Zetronix ZT2 wideband um, as well as reading in wideband it's got a lot of analog inputs EGT um, map sensor um, sorry focus you fuck yeah so uh, I'm only interested in the AFR from this because the plan is to um, make my own data logger rather than using their black box logger which I have bought actually um, the plan is to use OBD2 as well so I can record or data log uh, closed loop, open loop you know, road speed uh, fuel trims etc and I want to combine the lot together so um, early stages and it's not my forte programming or any of this stuff really but I've got a serial uh, RS-232 serial to TTL converter one of the uh, I presume fake Max 3232 chips it seems to work every now and then it seems to kind of brown out the well you know like interfere with the power supply of the uh, Adafruit Feather M0 that I'm using. It's the Wi Fi version, but I've added the Adalogger board beneath that you just can't see there. It's uh, beneath there is a micro SD and a real time clock with a battery backup. So, literally, we've just got ground <coughs> an RS232 out from the Zetronix into a serial to TTL converter. This gets the 3.3 volts from the Arduino so that sets the logic level for 3.3 volts so it's not going to hurt this. Um, the code is dead simple um, you can probably just pause the video and there's the code at the top there I'm just describing the packet format so um, there's 14 bytes the first three are like a, a start um, pattern, I suppose. It's always zero, one, two. So we've, when we see a two, we check the um, element before and the element before in the array, the two prior elements. And if there are one and a zero, then we can carry on and we've got a packet. Um, it's circuit Python, by the way. So I thought I'd give that a go instead of uh, C. A um, bit of checking for loss of connection so that the script doesn't crash out when it tries to print and convert uh, and there's no data so it means that we should be able to disconnect and we just get zeros and you know it's non it's not blocking which is good because we're going to be trying to pull in the clock and also trying to pull in information from this OBD2 adapter so yeah the the UAR read or the serial read is non blocking which is good so you see just connect anytime and disconnect so that's what I'm up to. Uh, this is for my bike, by the way, uh, BMW K1300S. Uh, yeah, cool. Just leaving on that code again. Okie dokie.